This fly was not bothering me. I sit back down to film, it starts to bother me again. Y'all, my white hairs are coming in hot. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new here, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a boxy charm unboxing, but this is actually April, May, and June's boxy charm. Um, okay, so this is June's box, May's box, and then april's box which was my first box i got after a year of not being with them and i always feel like whenever you get your first box with them to make it like big loud and in charge and then they sent this one and i was like and then this one and i was like i don't know so let's just see how it changed over the last three months well like you, you get what I'm saying. This is three different months boxes. So let's just see how they've changed what I've got. You do get to pick one product a month with BoxyCharm and it is $25 a month here in Texas with tax. It comes out to like $27 a month. And I've been getting mine around like the 14th, 16th, but for sure always the second week of um, the second to third week of the month. And I don't get it at the end of the month because that was why I ended up canceling because I was getting it like let's say like may 31st i would get may's box you know and i was just like that that doesn't make any sense to me and then like the boxes just weren't wowing me and i'm kind of back to makeup not wowing me at all right now or skincare but i don't know i like to like i want to play with it but like wanting new stuff or wanting to just buy stuff like it, nothing's really wowing me or getting me in the mood just playing with what i currently have is getting me in the mood for makeup Okay, so going in order, the first thing that I did receive was this Natasha Denona palette, and I got the shade Ayana, which I'm actually really happy I got this one because this one's, you know, like a nice, neutral, everyday, and I like that it's that you can use it for every day because it means that I can really, really try to test it out if I want. Not if I want, but like I get to test it out. <laughs> really really good because like i said i can use this for every day it's a lot more cool tone oh that one was really pretty but these are really pretty shades it's super creamy super buttery so i'm not mad at all that i got that i'm actually pretty excited and i'm glad that i got this one because i don't have very many cool toned palettes and this is like perfect for winter every day and so like i said i can't wait for winter to use this mostly because it's like I can use it every single day and I'll be able to really, really test it out and be like, are Natasha Denona eyeshadows really worth it? Because this little eyeshadow palette right here is worth 48 buckaroos, 48 buckaroos. Okay, the next thing I got was this Earth Arbor Naturals Aurora Superfood Luminous ample so this says give your face give your face illuminating superfood nutrition with harmonizing sea greens and in cannabis sativa hemp oil plus pacifying grapeseed oil and neem seed extract serenity energize oh serenely energize and soothe skin raw revealing dewy luminance so that's just what this looks like i wonder what this would smell like because that smells very natural. And this retails for 32 bucks. I'm gonna try it though, cause I like um, serums, serums and oils and all that jazz. So I am gonna try that. And that retailed for $32. Okay, and then I got this Beauty Diva, what? Beauty Diva London Diva eye brush set. Okay, first of all, it only comes with four brushes. 
that's it just four brushes they're not the fanciest or best brushes they did pretty good like i used these two today and this one's really good for blending and this one was really good for packing on that shadow on the lid so i'm not gonna be mad about it i used this one on the lower lash line so i can't complain about it it's just a feel Ugh. this just says perfect your eye looks with this cruelty free brush set for eyeshadow and eyeliner okay so this brush set retails for 48 bucks these are plastic, they're plastic. It's not even like they have a long handle. Don't get me wrong, I like receiving brushes, but $48, that's like $10, 12, $12 a brush, $12 a brush. And appearance wise, I don't think that's worth $12. They perform good, but it's not anything you can't buy from the drugstore for a lot cheaper. So yeah, I'm excited to get brushes because I love brushes, but that, price is insane 48 freaking dollars the next thing i got was a dominique cosmetics creamy fill and define lip liner this isn't just what it looks like i got the shade crush which i'm not mad about it's kind of super duper nude like it does not look that dark on my lips anyway um my lips are kind of really pigmented so it looks really pretty right there but the way that it applies to the lips is not my jam like at all whatsoever the way it looked because i actually used it today but like i said you don't see like a darker line around the outside the ombre nothing because it doesn't show up like that on my lips but it's not a bad lip liner i'm not mad at it can't be mad at it and that retails for 18 bucks and the last two things i got in here because like i said usually like whenever you re-sign up or you get your first box with them they will throw in like a free gift so i actually got six items in this box and the next thing I got was this um, Kinder Beauty Kinder Glow Highlighting Palette. Now I'm not gonna swatch this. I will open it so that way you guys can see it. Cause I'm just gonna put it in my giveaway drawer because this wasn't really screaming my name. Like not at all. It doesn't appease me, nothing like that. And that is just what it looks like. It's not an exciting highlighter palette for me personally, but I will include it in a future um, giveaway this is just gonna go in that drawer and that retailed for 15 dollars okay yeah so this was the free gift this last thing right here which is the pharmacy deep sweep two percent bha um pore cleaning toner i did this is the one that i travel with because even though it's big it's smaller than my toner that i use on a daily basis and it's not even truly that it's big it's just glass so it's heavy but I really do like this. It's pretty decent. I mean, it's a toner. It doesn't do anything miraculous. But then again, I've only used it a couple of times, so I can't really speak on it. And let me look up the price for that really quick. And that retails for $28. And so my overall value for my first box was $189. Mind you, I only paid 27 bucks for it. So that's not bad. I mean, I saved 152 bucks. Yeah, 152 bucks, so. Or, what? Am I doing my math right? 162 bucks? I saved 162 bucks, right? 100. Yeah, I saved 162 bucks. <laughs> math is not my strong point, don't judge me. Okay, so now let's go through the rest of these. Let's look at May's box, which was a really tiny box. I just thought it was so crazy to go from this to this. And I was like, um, okay, this box is gonna be garbage, but it wasn't. And so the first thing that we got, I actually kind of like everything in here. So the first thing that we got was the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. It says an instant eye lift in a tube sheer liquid brightness let your skin come through to deliver a nitro lit from within useful glow diamond complex delivers a soft focus finish include removable sponge or on for on the go blending so first of all i don't use this on my eyes i use it as a highlighter because it's just too gosh darn glowy for that and i actually really like the sponge for blending it out as a liquid highlighter because like i said i feel like this is too glowy to be or under the eye. Mm. Well, I guess I never looked at it like that. I guess it's not terrible, but it's really shimmery. Not shimmery, 
put um, it's just not something i would put underneath my eyes so i didn't try it but now that i know this specifically says for underneath your eyes i'll try it but it is also really pretty as a liquid highlighter and this retails for 27 bucks oh that's already as much as the box and so the next thing i got was the hey honey come clean propolis and minerals facial facial scrub i have not used this and this is just what the tube looks like let's see what it smells like oh it smells like soap like a generic soap and it just says a rich exfoliating dead sea salt scrub designed to be gentle enough for even the most sensitive skin dead sea crystalline beads buff away dead skin cells rehydrate the skin and restore deplete and restore depleted minerals the results clear smoother and brighter skin and this retails it for 29 bucks okay the next thing i did get which i actually kind of really like is the first aid beauty hello fab coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer and it says it formulated with coconut water and other superfood ingredients this it's this complexion enhancing moisturizer instantly brightens hydrates and smooths while helping blur the appearance of pores this, the result is beautiful, healthy looking skin when worn alone, a long lasting make, and long lasting makeup when used as a prep step. And this retails for 30 bucks. I agree, I really do like this. It does help with the appearance of pores as well as hydrating and it has a little bit of a glow. So yeah, I really do agree with everything stated right there. And again, this retails for 30 bucks. Okay, the next thing I got was this Tristique Brow Pencil and Brow Gel. And this just says the super sleek two-in-one brow pencil is 100% refillable. Keep your forever case and refill your brow and gel to your heart's content. From the materials to the packaging, everything was developed through a lens of sustainability, better for you and the and the planet. The brow pencil features a triangular shape to tip to define brows, while the flexible tinted gel on the other side grooms and sets. It's everything you need for a natural looking, perfectly sculpted brows. I use this today. Now, this part doesn't bother me. I can work with this. I could get down with this. It's not a big deal what the shape is. What bothers me is how big this wand is. It's a little bit weird shape. Like it's really long on this side, really short on the other side. And also that, that tint, like you want to talk about brow tint. That brow tint is dark and that retails for 26 bucks. Okay, and the last thing I got in here was the Tint Haze Smoky Eye Pencil. And this is just a black eyeliner, but this, I have used it. And this is very, very black, creamy, lasts long. I can't remember if it runs or not, so I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you yes or no. There's a fly in here. I hate this time of the year. So I can't really tell you like whether it smudges or not, and I don't have it on my lower lash line today to know, but it isn't a bad pencil. And this it retails for 18 bucks. And this fly is just so disrespectful. And the May Boxy Charm retailed for $130. And finally, last but not least, let's go ahead and get onto this month's boxy charm, which is the June boxy charm. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Oh my Lanta. Okay, so the first thing I got in here was the OPV Beauty London Spotlight Palette. And now let me just tell you, when I first seen the packaging, I was like, the packaging reminds me a little bit of Co Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette, but then, I opened it and I was like, oh no, Urban Decay Born to Run vibes all the flipping way. And if you've been watching me, you know that the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, why do I keep saying the whole name? You would know that the Born to Run palette is a palette that I have been wanting so bad, but it's always sold out here. And I don't like ordering stuff online because when I buy makeup, I kind of want to play with it right now. So it's very rare that I buy makeup online actually. Ooh, I prefer to buy it in store so I can play with it right now. Um, so yeah, this is really, really pretty. It's really good too. They're pigmented, they're blendable, the shimmers pop. This is just such a pretty palette. I can't wait to do more looks with it. This is what I have on my eyes today. I have the color uh, Glimmer in my crease. I have public eye on, like blended into the crease on the outer edge and to deepen that up, I have 
Dazzle and Night, oh, Dazzle Night, and then I have Lime Limelight as the blue. This is a really good palette, and I'm really glad that I, I, I'm actually really, really glad that I got this, so yes, and that retailed for 40 bucks, so almost the same price as the Born to Run palette. So it's, it's like a typical palette price. Okay, and so the next thing I got was the pharmacy. I got a lot of pharmacy. Well, a lot. The only two. The Pharmacy Honey Girl Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. A fast-absorbing, non-comedogenic -com face oil that delivers intense hydration and helps to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I chose this out because your girl can always use more hydration. I mean, even though it's summertime, I, ha I do have to use more of a matte foundation right now because your girl been taking such good care of her dry skin that, you know, she get a little, a little shiny, you know, a little cakey. So matte <laughs> has been my jam lately. And this is just what it fit, looks like. Pharmacy actually has a really pretty packaging. Let me smell it. It smells like honey. I don't know how you feel about honey. I love to taste honey, but Honey is not a smell that I would choose to smell. And that retails for 48 bucks. Okay, so this right here, this, I don't know how to feel about it. This is the True and Luscious Flower Dose Lip and Eye Serum. And this says a supercharged treatment serum and primer for lips and eyes de designed to be used alone or as a nourishing base for makeup. Infused with hyaluronic acid and a blend of botanicals, including orchid stem cells, rose, and passion fruit extracts that help visibly reduce fine lines and improve elasticity. See, whenever this says plumping lip and eye serum, plump, cause the box says plumping lip and eye serum. I'm like, Plumping on your lips always has a teeny tiny bit of a sting, whether it be very mild to very extreme. So I don't know how I would feel about this underneath my eyes. Should I still try it out? I'm kind of nervous because like I said, plumping usually comes with some kind of stinging. And I don't know how I feel about stinging underneath my eyes, but it says for fine lines, so I'm intrigued. I don't know. What do you guys think? But this retails for 34 bucks. The next thing I got was actually this Luna Magic Vava Pink Lash Primer. And this just says, with just one sweep, this innovative primer mascara glides on to evenly coat and smooth your lashes to maximize the final results of your favorite mascara. It has a natural wax formula with a creamy texture and a new and an innovative emulsifier which adds volume and extra length it's easy to apply and long lasting now this retails for 25 bucks i'm not into lash primers but i tried it i mean i feel like it made the mascara less black one and two i feel like my my eyelashes were as long and as full as they usually are i mean it's not much but nothing dramatic happened so would i pay 25 bucks for this i don't know Came in a boxy charm. I tried it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll keep trying it with a different mascara, but with the one I used it with, which was the Maybelline Sky High, I don't know. I don't think it really did much. Not for $25. Okay, so the very last thing I got, which I, I'm so stocked on masks, it's not even funny, sheet mask. So this is a Vitamask Nourish Flower Nectar Biodegradable Mask and Glow Juicy Berries Biodegradable Mask. So one of these is obviously for glow and one is for nourish. They're sheet masks, there's nothing to say about it. And I guess this set of two cost 18 bucks. I love sheet masks, honestly. And so yeah, so this month's box was 165. So I actually really like this month's box. I'm not mad at it at all. Like I said, the only thing out of this month's box I'm, that I'm not the biggest hype about is this lash primer i'm not a lash primer person nervous to try this but i will and then the only other thing that like i was like truly not a fan of is this kinder beauty highlighting palette but i mean like mm, not everybody has a lot of highlighters like me some people would just be happy to get a highlighter so i have a lot of highlighters that i already know and love and that's why i'm just like i wouldn't use any of those in there and also because i don't reach for 
only a highlighting palette. It's usually a blush palette that has highlighters or a bronzer palette that has highlighters, but never just a highlighting palette. I, if that's the case, I'll just reach for a single highlighter. That's just me. So yeah, I actually really love all of these boxes. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me use the products as well. So I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. And if you like me like building them up, let me know. Or if you want me to do them every single month with just one box, let me know. But I will see you guys in my next video. But be sure to let me know that. Bye guys. Mwah!